So I just came back from shopping around the corner shops here. I bought some pots, some other storage thingies that I needed. I'm gonna do a lot of projects today. But first of all, I'm gonna start with this shelf storage that I show you in my IKEA haul. I'm gonna assemble it, I'm gonna do a timeless because I'm sure it's gonna take a while. And then I'm gonna show you what other projects I'm gonna do around the house because I need to move some stuff. I need to decorate some parts of the kitchen with a storage thingy I bought from IKEA. And it's gonna be a lot of DIYing and a lot of decorating and assembling. So let's get going. They said, don't fall. Don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink, don't run. Don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the side. My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it. Get in these voices inside to stay quiet. Gone to the place where all this began. Just start again. had to improvise basically it took us about it took me about two hours to put it together because I assembled it and then it took him about two hours to pin it to the wall or maybe less but we had to go to the store buy something get back figure out they are not working properly go back buy some more things so it was a pain but we finally got it to the wall it's fixed because uh, we have Simba we have our cat which is probably gonna climb on it so we had to make sure it's secure and it's not gonna fall on him now i'm gonna style it so i've just put together together from my house the stuff that i would like to put on this and now i'm just gonna see what's happening and how i can style it so why is it so i to let you go So I've put the English ID on the top so we can trail down all the way. Then there I have a dragon tree that is in a bad condition so I'm gonna try to save him. I have my diffuser here with a 
little shiny board that lights up. Then we have the perfumes and the watches, another plant here, uh, succulent there. This is my jewelry that I'm gonna have to organize as well with a nice uh, tray, a uh, candle. Then we have two aloe veras, this one Simba ate it and I know it's not good for cats so I'm gonna try to protect it in some way. Then we have my Marc Jacobs book and my question and answer five year book. And then at the bottom there we have some water bottles because I don't have a book end that can support my books. I have a few of my books and then I have my empties bag from uh, The Ordinary. And then I have the wicker basket here. And on this side, I actually managed to empty it. And then I only have my light and my palm that I will have to repot. And basically, this is what it looks like overall. I think it looks so good. I think it's so much greenery in this space. I really like the way it turned out. I'm gonna probably style it uh, in the next few weeks as well as I'm trying to find more items. But overall, I'm so pleased with it. And I think it was an incredible price, 15 pounds for this. We had to stick it to the wall, so I recommend you stick it to the wall. Otherwise, it's pretty shaky. But now it's exactly, exactly how I imagined it. Although that looked nice, I had to switch around some stuff because this is where all my vegetables are in this nice glass thingy. And then I had to find a place to put my bread as I have no bread bin. And Usually it's only gonna be like that, but now we just have a surplus of uh, pastry items. But this is how it's gonna look on top of the fridge. And compared to what was before, a bunch of branded things, all the colors, I think this looks so much cleaner and so much clutter free. And I'm gonna keep it like this for a while. Circles, I'm trying to fight it, getting these voices inside to stay quiet. Going to the place where all this began. That were so cheap they were five pounds each and about two and initially i wanted to put them on there excuse my laundry i need to iron it but i wanted to put them on the corners and i will show you in a second i wanted to put them basically like this but as you can see the wall is extremely crooked and it leaves a, a huge a huge gap so basically I'm trying to make it so that you can be able to see there is that huge gap and i wanted to put adhesive strips so i didn't want to drill into the wall because i'm writing but i couldn't so then my boyfriend came up with the idea to put them in a place that actually looks better which is here like this and it was amazing and they look super super nice they look super great with the kitchen but again we wanted to use this kind of adhesive thingies uh, velcro i believe they're called and they did not stick i mean they stick in two places but on one side of the wall and one side of the cabinet they just didn't stick at all so we couldn't do that either so what we actually done is we bought a drill we bought the cheapest drill on amazon this is huge it's got so many I don't even know how they're called. So many drill heads, I guess. It's like 50 something. Um, and we're gonna see if it does the job. And if it doesn't, we're just gonna return it. But it's a pain with these shelves. And we bought some shelf brackets as well. So 
instead of going with these cheap five pounds uh, shelves from IKEA, we actually are gonna spend around 50 pounds to build them if we include the drill. I don't know if it was worth it, but I think it's gonna look so cute. It's gonna be so much nicer. It's gonna bring all the kitchen together and I'm excited to put them up. I need to wait for my boyfriend because I have no idea how to use a drill. And we're gonna put them up today or probably tomorrow. And this is how the shelves turned out. I had a quite a hard time styling this. This is supposed to be like that. But I think this is the final form. I think it looks super, super nice. It brings the kitchen together. I have some more flowers there and some not so clean dishes, but forget that. But they look so good. The only thing that I'll probably have to do is put another bracket, smaller one around here, because I don't know if you can see, but it's quite a bit tilted. Like, can you see it's moving a tiny little bit? But it's fine, uh, it will hold. I won't put anything extremely heavy on it, or at least not on this front part. This is a plant that I got from MS. These are my vegan uh, supplements. I have some nice bottles in the back that are just empty. I keep my tea there, some more supplements in the back, and there are all my uh, cookbooks and my monstera that my cat ate. So I just decided to put the leaves there, but I'm probably gonna have to throw them away because this one is already dying. And that's how the shelves turned out. I actually enjoy them here. I think they look much more beautiful than if I would have put them on the wall like I initially wanted. So this is a nice addition to my kitchen. So this is me editing Adri and I just realized that I did not do an outro for this video because I've been just caught up with just assembling and DIYing and decorating and everything. Because we're actually going to Romania for two weeks, so I had to put this video together and it did not have an outro. So I, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, there were some quite big changes for us to do all of this stuff and I feel like it was the finishing touches to our flat. It looks very much like it's ours now uh, from the moment we moved in where there were no decorations whatsoever to now almost one year later it feels like home it feels like i imagine it to look like and i hope you get inspiration from here leave me a comment if you liked how i decorate and i'll see you next time